And that it's an element we don't hear much of. This is boron. But this trace element could have incredible effects on the human body. It's being studied here. We apply a, a vacuum to it and then try and remove the solvent. All of the liquid's removed and then we'll be left with the solid behind. So it's one of the steps for, for the purification of bore center as well. Six years of lab work and voila, an aspiring new drug patented and trademarked as borzantrazole, a beacon of hope for as many as 4,000 Canadians living with the devastating neurological disease ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. The drug has already worked in slowing progression of the disease in lab mice and recently won a National MITAX Innovation Award for its potential to extend life in affected humans. But it's only the first big step. We really want to move our academic research from bench to bedside of the patients. Yeah. And for that, we need fund. The cause is close to Sungi's heart, despite only learning of the disease a few short years ago. While studying it, he also volunteers at the ALS Society. Every day, you know, I can see my friends, they are dying with ALS. And uh, that gives me a purpose, a vital purpose for my research and a responsibility, deep responsibility, that we have to do something. Friends like Sherry Wittishan. Congratulations on the Innovation Award and thank you Nidesh and Dr. Tranwer for creating hope in the lives of ALS people through your research. His colleagues are celebrating too. What's needed now? time and a lot of money. The regulatory bodies, rightly so, want to make sure that it's safe. Yeah. And then you put it into humans just so that you understand how it's, it's, it behaves in healthy humans. And then that can take another six months to a year and then uh, you can uh, apply to put it into ALS patients. We can hopefully make an impact to those people who are newly diagnosed uh, you know, in a, in a few years. Giving hope to the next generation affected by this disease. Melissa Ridgen, Global News, Winnipeg.